Hello everyone, welcome to Financial Success. Today we are going to talk about Happy Coin as they are focusing on a cybersecurity protocol. And so there is a lot of hacking going on in the cryptocurrency space as people are doing a lot of different cryptocurrencies, whether it is from an exchange or from other people's wallets. And so I definitely think this is a problem that needs to be addressed. And so that is what Happy Coin is focusing on. And so I would like to take a look at the problem here first and then look at how they are addressing it. And so let's take a look at these on Coindesk. And so here's a list of some of the hacks that are taking place and so right now EasyFi has reported a hack where they have lost over 80 million dollars in funds and then there's also the big mountain gox hack as well from a couple of years ago and so this is still being voted on for a proposal to reimburse mountain gox victims and then there was also the colonial pipeline hack as well where they retrieved back 2.3 million dollars in bitcoin and then this has also recently been announced that mark cuban was hit by an apparent DeFi rug pull and so he was focusing on a cryptocurrency and then they ended up pulling the rug on that and so what happy is focusing on is trying to solve these issues with cryptocurrencies being stolen from exchanges or wallets and then also looking at a cryptocurrency from an audit perspective trying to make sure that it is actually credible and looking out for people from having the rug pulled out from underneath them and so the cryptocurrency we're going to be taking a look at today is happy and so we are on coin market cap here and so we can see that the cryptocurrency is currently trading at sixty dollars and 32 cents and so this does look like an expensive cryptocurrency especially if you are familiar with trading cryptocurrencies like safe moon or even cryptocurrencies that are a couple of dollars and so i will be going more in depth in this to explain why the current price is not a bad price for what this token is and so as we can see this current market cap is about 11 million dollars and so this is a very small market cap for a cryptocurrency and so with that there is definitely high risk but high reward and so as always i'm not a financial advisor this is just my opinion so please do your own research this is a very high risk investment and so I'd quickly like to take a look at where this cryptocurrency can be traded. And so we can see this is traded on a few different platforms here. And so it is recently listed on KuCoin. This was just a couple of days ago. And so we can see that the majority of the volume is on KuCoin. This is the platform that I use to buy this cryptocurrency. And so if you're interested in buying that, there is a link below. And so let's go back to the cryptocurrency here. And so we can see that the circulating supply is 180,000 and the max supply of this cryptocurrency is 1 million. And so this is very small. And so I'd like to put this into perspective. And so let's take a look at a couple other cryptocurrencies. And so we can see Bitcoin here, the max supply of Bitcoin is 21 million. And then the max supply of Ethereum is 116 million. And so as we can see with the max supply of Bitcoin being 21 million, many people think that is scarce for Bitcoin. And so the current price of Bitcoin is 35,000. And so when we hit that max supply, many people are expecting the price of Bitcoin to continue to go up. And so just for example, let's say that Ethereum had a circulating supply that was the same as Bitcoin. So let's say that instead of 116 million, it was 18 million. And so if it was 18 million, that's about six and a half times less than the current Ethereum supply. And so that would mean that the price would be trading around $14,000. And so the reason I'm explaining this is just to show how small of a max supply Happy has. And so I'd like to go back to that here. And so we can see that that is 1 million. And so Bitcoin's current circulating supply is about 18 million and Ethereum has 116 million, whereas this is just 1 million. And so this is very small max supply. And so there is good potential for this. This could absolutely explode if it really does start to take off and be applied in Binance or Coinbase or any other pretty large exchange. However, with this being such a small um, market cap and max supply, there's also very high risk. And so this does go both ways. It could have substantial gains. However, this could drop off very quickly as well. And so that's definitely something to keep in mind. And so I'd quickly like to compare this to SafeMoon as well, just for another example. And so as we can see with SafeMoon, there is a total supply of one quadrillion. So there is a ton of tokens out there for SafeMoon and their current market cap is 2.2 billion. And so with that, they still have a very low price. And so we can see here, this is kind of the far end of the spectrum for a very small token, whereas Happy is kind of on the other end of the spectrum. They have a very small max supply. However, the price is going to be substantially higher to start. And so that's just something to keep in mind. And so I'd like to take a look at Happy's website here as well, just to explain more of what they are focusing on and what they do. And so they have stated that they're going to be making an announcement next week. I'm not sure what that is going to be, but that is just something to keep in mind as well. 
And so they are an on-chain cybersecurity protocol with trustless oracles preventing hacker attacks. And so that is what they are focusing on. And so they are focusing on centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. And so if connected to Happy, any centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance will be warned in case of stolen funds are deposited on their platform. And so an exchange will be able to block these funds until the situation is resolved. And so if there were stolen funds that were transferred to Coinbase or Binance and then this happy protocol was integrated into there, then they would be notified of these stolen funds being on their platform. And so I think this is definitely something that is needed in the cryptocurrency space. This would stop a lot of the theft and hacks that are taking place. And so this can also be used on decentralized exchanges as well, like Uniswap, SushiSwap and PancakeSwap. And so this would be the same thing on the centralized exchanges where they can identify suspicious wallet addresses and reject any transaction request to prevent money laundering. And so Hapagoin is also focusing on protecting cryptocurrency traders and warning them on high risk investments. And so with a decentralized security audit database, decentralized and centralized exchanges can access info on whether the specific smart contract has undergone security audits. And so if it has not been audited, the cryptocurrency exchange can notify the trader on possible high risk or even impose a limit for buy slash sell order limits or they can restrict any operations with such high risk tokens. And so this would help a lot of people from being investing in cryptocurrencies where there is a possibility of a rug pull where they may not have been audited. And so this could be very beneficial to a new trader in the cryptocurrency space. Maybe they are not familiar with an exchange or a certain cryptocurrency that is new. And so maybe it has not been audited. And so this would highlight that, that this cryptocurrency has not been audited and provide those risk assessments for that trader. And so they are aware of what they are buying. And so I'd also like to take a look at this article here as well, just looking a little bit deeper into Happy. And so Happy is the first project to be launched by the Hacken Foundation. And so Hacken Foundation will lead the business development for Happy Security Oracle Protocol, while Happy Founding Development Team will focus on the code development. And so this is Hacken's website here. And so they are a premier cybersecurity consulting company. And so they were launched in 2017 and then 20. 18 they went beyond the borders with the first international client and then 2018 of june they launched the cr.live and then in april 2020 they launched hack and ai and then in june of 2020 they had a partnership with coin gecko and so on coin gecko they are the unique cybersecurity data provider for coin gecko trust score and so then today they are the leading cybersecurity consulting company in the cryptocurrency space. And so I think this is very good to have them working with Happy as well. They provide some credibility to this cryptocurrency going forward. And so I definitely think this is something that is needed in the cryptocurrency space from a security aspect. There's a lot of new traders out there. There's a lot of new projects being released and it's very hard to determine if they are legit or not. And so I think this is very good for this project. I think it could do very well, especially if it is integrated into a very large exchange like Coinbase or Binance. And so like I have stated before, they are gonna be releasing news next week as well. I'm not sure what that is gonna be. However, that could help as a catalyst for this cryptocurrency. And so this cryptocurrency, as I have stated, is very speculative. It is a very high risk and high reward investment. So please do not put more money in than you are willing to lose. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for staying until the end of the video and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.